subscribe to the Light Sports and Ultra Light Flyer web video magazine with hundreds and hundreds of videos now online, including air show coverage, Rotax engine tech tips, Rotax 377, 447, 503, 532, and 582 engine rebuilding videos, each two hours in length, propeller maintenance, advisors, and repairs, VRS parachute saves, Bing carb updates, and much, much more. Get a yearly subscription at www.ultralightflyer.com. The E-Spider is based on the Flightstar Spider airframe and uses the unique electric power system. The joint venture between the two companies is at the forefront of the electric aviation revolution. The E-Spider flew at AirVenture 2009 and is leading the way towards being the first commercially produced electric aircraft available to the public. The E-Spider is currently undergoing further development with the hope of offering a kit in the near future. The already efficient and lightweight airframe made from aircraft grade aluminum tubing, carbon fiber, and 4130 chromoly steel tubing will be further enhanced with wind tip extensions, a new body design, and numerous other changes to allow operation under part 103 while using the unique 27 horsepower electric power drive motor system. Easy to use, extremely quiet, virtually vibration free, low cost operation and, envir and environmentally friendly, electric power is the future and the Flightstar eSpider leads the way. In a California desert in 1990, pilot Jack Britton is performing aerial acrobatics while showing his ultralight aircraft to a prospective buyer. The customer's wife videotapes the plane as it loops and spins when disaster suddenly strikes. Pull the chute, pull the chute. Come on, Jack, pull the chute. As the plane falls to earth, Jack wonders how he'll survive the crash, or if the chute will fall apart. As the plane hits the ground, the customer runs to Jack's aid to find that remarkably, he has escaped almost certain death. You okay? <laughs> I don't know, I might have sprung a toe, I think. What's